Welcome back guys, in this video we're going to do this super cool stretch transition in LumaFusion. Now before we start, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's jump into the iPad. Okay, here we are in LumaFusion, and the first clip we have is this landscape. And we want to transition into this second clip of a country lane. So the first thing we do is position the playhead between the two clips. And then we're going to zoom right in until we can see the frame along the bottom of the timeline. Then we're going to move back 12 frames into the first clip because we want this to be a long transition and we're going to slice there. We're going to move 12 frames into the second clip and slice again. And now we're going to double tap on that first clip. Go to frame and fit. We're going to use the slider to stretch the clip on the X axis. So we're going to add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and keep it normal sized. And then we're going to move to the end, add another keyframe and stretch it out to about 261. So at the moment it looks like that. Now we're going to double tap on that second clip. And we do the same thing but in reverse. So we're going to create a keyframe at the end of the clip and leave it normal. And then at the beginning of the clip, we're going to stretch out that X axis to about 261 again. Okay, so at the moment it plays through like this. Now we're going to add some motion blur. So double tap that first clip again, go down to colour and effects, up to the drop symbol, and we choose motion 80. And now we're going to use keyframes to affect the radius. So we move to the beginning of the clip. Drop that radius down to zero and LumiFusion will automatically add as a keyframe there. Then move along to the end of the clip. We bring that radius up to about 35. And LumiFusion automatically adds another keyframe again. Okay, double tap on the second clip and we do the same thing but in reverse. So motion 80. about 35 right at the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe and then go to the end of the clip and take the radius down to zero and LumaFusion adds a keyframe for us again. Okay and the end result looks like this. Hope you enjoyed this one guys, if you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.